Swole Benji here. In today's Halo Infinite video, I will be covering the map Fragmentation, which is a big team battle map. I'm going to go over the weapon spawns, if the map is imbalanced or not, and general strategies that you can employ as soon as the round starts and as the round progresses. Let's start talking about it right now. So Fragmentation, it is a big team battle map. This is where you will generally spawn. There are two different types of bases, and to tell which one you're at, you're going to look behind you. So you'll see that this base has a, uh, like a bit, it's in a canyon, right? You can even see near the radar, it says canyon base, okay? So if you spawn at this base, you are at a slight, a very tiny disadvantage. This is the most balanced of all big team battle maps. The reason you're at a disadvantage, I will show you later, but essentially you are down one grapple hook. Yeah, that's it. It's just one grapple hook. Anyway, so let's start talking about the map and its mechanics. I'm going to show you the weapon spawns. As soon as you spawn in, you're going to have a covenant weapon and a marine weapon, usually a battle rifle or a commando. You also have the drop sh the drop wall. Most most uh, spawns put you right in front of a drop wall on these maps. You also have these interesting things. These are plasma coils. Now, you can press E to pick this up. If you use your weapon swap key, you will drop it safely, or you can pick it up and then left click and you'll throw it. Now, these things explode when, when impacted, and what they do is they will take away your opponent's shield, but they cannot kill. Even if you are at no shield and about to die and you get hit by one of these, it will not kill you. So if you get hit by it, you pretty much just lose all your shield. There's also fire on the ground, which will continue to drain life, but this, again, it is not lethal. It will not kill you. So I'll demonstrate right now. Let me get my shield back. Just a sec here. And we're just going to throw... Oops. Let's uh, throw a little grenade there. All right. Now I have no shield. I'm going to take this. I'm going to throw it out a wall here. And... Let's see. We're going to walk right into the fire. Nothing is happening. We cannot die from this. You can stack a bunch of these up, and you will never die from it. So most players will take this little warp, which will put you on this middle pad, but if you want to rush for the power weapon, you, you don't want to rush for the vehicles. All right. There's also a battle rifle right here. You're going to cross this little bridge, and this is the same on both sides. There's a repulsor here, and the first power weapon you'll encounter is right here. Uh, it can be a, a range from sniper, uh, skewer, Gosh, I've seen rockets, I have not seen melee weapons. Also, this is sometimes a plasma pistol, but right now it's a mangler. And then you'll come here, and this is the first interesting mechanic of the map, okay? Uh, this is a locked door, also there's a battle rifle or commando. And you hold E, don't press E, but hold E, and you're going to put your AI into the little machine here. Now, a white line will appear. If you cross this white line... Uh, you can see the progress bar at the top there. If you cross the white line, it will send the AI back to your inventory, right? Then you can see that the progress is slowly draining on this door. So you can just go back and then put your AI back on it and they'll continue to work on the door. So you're not really tied here. And also it says signal degrading when you get near the line, but it does not slow down the progress. You don't have to be close to it, it will not make it faster. So what is inside here is a power weapon and a power equipment, also random grenades, uh, frag or plasma. So in this case, we got the hammer. This can spawn any power weapon in the game, all right? So we're going to go ahead and pick it up, and what that's going to do is lower this back down into the chest. And then behind it is our power equipment. This can be the camouflage or uh, overshield. Now, the reason why the canyon side is less balanced is because in this room, uh, right now, it is a threat sensor. Uh, but on the other side, it is a grapple shot. And um, also, sometimes in multiplayer, big team battle, this will be a thruster instead of a threat sensor. So it's uh, it's a little weird, but other than that, uh, you can camp this room if you want to control this power web, uh, this power equipment. You can see the loading bar on on the on the circle here. It will slowly fill back up, and it will be ready. But also, this is a completely random weapon behind this. It can be covenant or it can be uh, human, and it will never change until you pick it up and drop it. This will never, ever come back until you hack the door again. Now, if you go up here, that's an exit that puts you on a ledge that you can only get to via grapple hook or by putting a warthog under it and climbing up. Now, this thing has a timer to reboot. If you stay in here, the doors will open and close for you, but as soon as you leave, you cannot get back in here. So, if you want to control the power weapons, what you can do is as soon as that's ready, you open the door, you put the hack back on it, you run back in, and as soon as the hack completes, this will open up with a new weapon every single time. So that is the mechanics on the side here. And then, of course, this door opens. It's a one-way door. 
if you hack the control panel, you can enter through here. So if you're fighting someone and then they run into this room, instead of fighting them head on, you could kind of be sneaky and come up here and then fight them from behind, maybe. But most people run through here, they grab the power weapon, they run up through the hallway, and they come out on top. That way they have their power weapon, they have a nice vantage point, and they can shoot down at you. All right, so let's uh, let's continue exploring the perimeter of the map real quick, and then we'll I'll show you in the middle. All right, so up here, just uh, th this is mostly random right now. It's a disruptor, uh, which is all right. It can also be a shock rifle. So it's 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 pretty much any covenant weapon. Right here, you have drop wall, little little animal. Just make sure to that's uh, <laughs> they just evaporate. They just immediately disappear. It reminds me of like old PlayStation One games. All right, and then. You can press Z to see the weapon spawns. I want to show you this ledge, okay? Uh, an interesting thing with that ledge. This is another Covenant weapon. There's some Covenant weapons over here. Nothing really big or interesting. So, if you take this lift right here on either base, it will throw you onto this platform. And you may be thinking, well, I can't get up there. It's too tall, right? But if you come up here to the side, you will see, like, some rocks there. And you, you can just climb up. You can just climb right up there. And get, get yourself a battle rifle. You can also pick up one of these. And these things fly far. Like, you can you can just chunk these. They just go flying. I was trying to hit the lift. Look at that. <laughs> it made it all the way back here. Very fun. Alright, let's continue our uh, exploration of the outer edges here. I'm going to hit Z. And you can see the weapon spawns. There's a Needler. You got... Uh, what is this? Hydra? Yeah, it's a Hydra. And again, these are these are mostly random. This one's disruptor or heat wave. I'm sorry. There's another heat. There's a big heat wave spawn in the middle. Now, let me show you another important spawn that's inside bases. Both bases are pretty much the same. Same weapon, same spawns, uh, same vehicles. Uh, so, first off is under the base. All right. Now, under the base is really really good. It's got tons of weapons, grenades, of course. So look at all the spawns here. You have, this is your other grapple shot, okay? This is the easiest one to get. Uh, is right inside the base. You have battle rifle. You have hydra, heat wave. Sometimes you can get bulldogs. Uh, you can get all sorts of weapons down here. It, it's random. It's not like the other maps. It's mostly random, okay? Uh, on the side here, another covenant weapon. No, this is bulldog as well on the side. I think that one's always a bulldog. That or plasma pistol. All right, you have, this is repulsor. Now remember, this we're on the other team's like part, or part of the bridge. So power weapon that is a repulsor as well. So kind of kind of stacked on the repulsors there. Uh, again, a mauler or a plasma pistol there. And this door is the same thing, exact same insides. You just hack the door, and uh, you can go get yourself a power weapon. And inside of this side is the grapple hooks that are up. You know, you go through the little hallway and it's up top. I don't need to show you that. More grenades, but here's another way to get grapple hooks. You, As soon as you leave either of these red doors, you just go this way past the grenades, and right here on both sides are more grapple hooks. Now, the, the middle is an interesting part of the map, too. So I'm, I'm going to talk about the middle in a sec here. Uh, also, you can get a, a Ravager, which might be useful in the upcoming middle area that, that I'm about to show you. So we're going to walk around... Now, in both sides of the door, you will either get Bulldogs or you will get, um, is it Disruptor? Or no, Heat Wave. So let's see, what do we got? Bulldogs on both sides. So th this is pretty much an indoor fighting area. There's grenades in this corner and grenades in this corner over here. And there we go. Now, if you use that, uh, that, that one weapon I just showed you, also there's the other grapple hooks. And they're on both sides of the wall, too. So you can pick up the Ravager, and if there's a capture point in here, this is where it can get ugly. And you can be like, uh, you can get a big multi-kill. You just charge this up, and you just shoot it onto the capture point. And what that's going to do is leave a big fiery trail all over the capture point. People will be forced to move out. You basically just nade spam in here. They're going to be nade spamming because they get grenades here. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, it, it gets pretty ugly in here on big team battle capture points sometimes. Not so much on, like, Capture the Flag modes. But yeah, guys, that is pretty much... It's a very simple map, very clean map. Uh, again, you can press Z and see all the weapon spawns. And same thing with the other side. You'll have the little rock pile here. You can just climb up, get your battle rifle, grab one of these. Let's see if I can get it this time. Oh, yeah. Nope, I way undershot that. 
Uh, and you can grab those little pulse things. Also, there's another uh, interesting mechanic too. Let me just show you. And that is the minigun, which is detachable. So, that is going to be on this ledge right here on both bases. It's going to be on the left side. And it's near this lift. Th all this lift does is take you to the middle of the base. Let's just grapple up there, make it faster. So, this little minigun, it does have ammo, but if you don't detach it, you have infinite ammo. But when I press middle click to detach it, I now have an ammo bar. See, it's at 100%. Also, the accuracy is very low. You can't crouch. And uh, you're kind of slow. You're slowed down because it's a heavy weapon. Also, there's weapons up here. There's a shock rifle. This is usually a stalker rifle. It's very rarely a, uh, a shock rifle. So you can, you can come around here, just machine gun everyone down. It's 10 shots to kill a player, by the way, with this weapon. I didn't cover that in my weapons guide. You got your drop wall. I've already covered this. Vehicles down below. Uh, very simple map. Uh, tank, uh, Scorpion tank spawns at 2 minutes remaining on Capture the Flag. Plasma pistol, sometimes this is Disruptor. Uh, which you prefer, or no, I'm sorry, it's not a Disruptor. Sometimes it's a Mauler. Plasma pistol or Mauler. And that's it. Uh, it's a very simple, very clean, very balanced map. Like I said, the only imbalance is that um, uh, the one in the canyon, which is where we spawn. Let me just show you uh, real quick what I'm talking about. So on this side of the map, you'll notice they aren't surrounded by a big wall. And let me just get a little closer to show you exactly what I mean. Let's go ahead and take the vehicle, get there faster. The, the back side of this spawn is wide open, so you can just fly on off of here. And if you spawn on this side with the open open wall, then you are at that very slight advantage because you have the grapple hook. Anyway guys, that is the map. That is Fragmentation. It's a big team battle map. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something new. Showed you where all the spawns are. Uh, the power weapons are exact same. This little walkway, boom, right here. Easy peasy. The equipment is locked behind these little hackable doors. <laughs> and I have the most annoying AI on purpose. But yeah, um, very, uh, now that you know the spawns, you know the weapons, this map becomes very, very easy to play on. Um, I remember when I played this map and I didn't know where everything was, it was just a, a hellscape. So anyway, that's it. I'm Swole Benji. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay swole. If you like this video, uh, you know, do your thing. Leave a like. Subscribe if you want more Halo videos. Subscribe if you like MMORPGs too. Let's, uh... Come on, let's get let's get it. Man, I am I oh I hit something. I got the hit marker. Anyway, I will see you in tomorrow's video. I make videos every single day. Uh take care.